Guys, I wanna welcome you back to the channel. This is the Digital Review, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the Anchor Soundcore Life Note earbuds. Make sure you can see that. If you are a Christmas shopper, you would've noticed these were on sale for $49.99 at your local Target store, probably uh, $59.99 if you're an Amazon shopper. I happen to pick up a pair, and I'm gonna tell you what I think about them. I will be right back in a few seconds. All right, so I wanna welcome you back again. Let's go ahead and get into this video um, because I found these on uh, Target's website for $49.99. And again, they are the Anchor Soundcord Life Note. And I ended up uh, buying one pair for my sister and one pair for my son. And my son is 11. So I wanted to do a video for parents that uh, have kids with small ears, or if you are a teenager and you have small ears, you're gonna to wanna to stick around to hear what I think about these earbuds, okay? As usual though, before I unbox them, I'm just gonna kinda of go over some of the things that they say that they do on this box. Like 10 minute quick charge will get you one hour worth of playtime, that is true. Uh, water resistance, IPX5, that is true also. Um, I did make a few phone calls with these and they do advertise, these are crystal clear calls because they have four microphones with noise reduction. And that is also true. Um, on the back, we have seven hours of playtime, 40 hours with the charging case total. I was able to get about six and a half real world usage. I like mine almost maximum volume. I know maximum volume does uh, reduce the amount of listening time that you get. So six and a half real world usage is pretty good when you consider I'm at like 90% maximum volume. Uh, one thing I do want to put out, point out at the bottom here, they do have passive noise cancellation, and that is just because the, tip, the tips that are on these go actually into the ear canal. So they do block out some of the street noise, some of the surrounding noise. So if that is a concern of yours, if you're a jogger, if you're a runner, you know, these may not be for you. And as far as the superior sound, I'm going to save that for the actual review itself. Uh, the case does have USB-C charging, so that's a good thing. And then, as I mentioned here, you do have fast charge for these. These are really easy to pair, but again, I'll get into that as well. And that is our box. So, I'm going to go right into the unboxing. Inside the box, you get some literature to read. You get one, two, three, four sets of ear tips. You get the earbuds which also have a set of ear tips on them, okay? Very easy. And you also get a charging unit and that's already been taken out of the box. And that's it. I do wanna point this out, USB-C, so they are true there. And uh, as far as the size of the box goes, it's a little bit taller than a nickel and it's probably about the size of a half of a dollar. So if you, you know, a stick of gum, like the last review, about a stick of gum, and it's about a little bit taller than a nickel, and that will give you the dimensions of the case. Case will easily fit in your pocket. Um, they don't come out very easily. You can see I'm shaking them pretty hard. They're stuck in there with magnets, so they don't come out very easily. The case is not, you know, easy. The case is easy to get off, uh, but the earbuds themselves do not come out very easily. So you don't really have to worry about them dropping out on you. You just gotta pick them up yourself, and put them in yours. Um, as far as sound quality goes, I'm gonna go right for it. As far as sound quality goes, I'm gonna give these, and again, I'm rating them based on how much you pay for them. For a $50 pair of headphones, these are pretty good. They're an eight and a half out of 10, in my opinion, on bass. Um, you are going against the Skull Candies of the world, the J Labs of the world, and you know, uh, Sound Pete, people like that. That's who you're going against. If you're looking at, uh, you know, replacement, or uh, should I say, if you're looking at knockoff iPods, AirPods, this is definitely something that you want to take a look at. Very, very clear call quality. The bass hits pretty good for a pair of uh, $50 headphones. And the mids actually surprisingly sound pretty good, pretty clear too. That's kind of what I liked about them when I heard them myself. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about them was the trebles. If you're hard of hearing or if you're an audiophile, you're looking for a complete sound, you are not going to get a complete sound out of these, but you, you shouldn't expect a complete sound out of a $50 pair of headphones. So 
Um, you get what you pay for, and I think they actually go above and beyond the $50 that you pay for them. So, um, as the box says, these are IBX5 rated. So that means you cannot drop them in a cup of water. You should not take a shower in them. You definitely cannot swim with them. But if you're out in the rain, if you sweat a lot at the gym, these will be perfectly fine. They're not gonna tear up. Uh, they probably could last in the sauna if you went in the sauna with them for a little while. Although I wouldn't advise it, but you know, again, they're made for splashes of water. They are not made for being submerged in water. So keep that in mind, but they are IPX5 rated. Um, when it comes to Bluetooth, they are Bluetooth 5.0, as it says on the box here. And I was actually able to get about 40 feet away from my phone before they started to cut out. Uh, some of you guys may be able to get further. Some of you may be shorter if you're in like in a house with steel uh, on the inside of the house, or if you're around walls, things like that. If you're in an office park, it may be shorter. Me, it's my test is always either from the car to the gas station uh, at a gas pump, you know, or it's always me at one end of the court walking to half court that's about 45 feet and they held up just fine so 40 feet's good for me that means you can walk away from your phone you can go do your workout you can come back and not have to worry about them cutting out on you um, as far as the controls and how to pair them when you take them out only you're gonna do it does not have a touch tap button right here it actually has a physical button that you press and the only thing you're gonna do is hold them down to turn them off and they'll shut off like that. And then when you turn them back on, I'm not gonna repair them, but when you turn them back on, you hold them down and keep holding and they'll go right into pairing mode. And that's it, they pair pretty easily. They can be used independently. You can use the left one by itself or the right one by itself. So you don't have to worry about that. And as far as the, the uh, controls go, I believe it's tap twice for the next song three times to go backwards, hold it for your voice assistant, and uh, once to pause, if I uh, remember correctly. Check me on that, I could be wrong because I did not use these a lot. Um, but yeah, for a $50 set of headphones that are IPX5, they are in that iPod style where they you know, have the, the stem hanging out from your ear. Uh, they do go down in the, in the uh, ear canal, so that gives you some uh, noise cancellation and also produces some bass. They give you five different tips to choose from. They give you USB-C um, charging cable and a decent sturdy ma heavy magnetized case. I mean the case is pretty heavy and they say you're going to get a complete 40 hours using the case and the seven hours you're going to get out of the uh, earbud. So you know I guess this case is supposed to get you 33 more hours and yeah I mean I would definitely give these a shot. Especially if you're looking at, you know, something like uh, Skull Candy or the i7WS, whatever those knockoff AirPods are. Or if you're looking at the Sound Peats or the J-Labs. Uh, I think the Anchor has a little bit better brand. I think they will hold up a little bit better than the J-Labs. The sound is pretty good. The call quality is excellent. They don't come out of your ear. And that is the point that I said I was going to save. So let's just talk about that now. If you are shopping for a 9, 10, 11, 12 year old, maybe even a 13 year old, and the reason you're shopping for them is because you don't wanna buy them AirPods because they either aren't responsible enough to have $150 AirPods, or you know what, you just might not have the money to buy $150 AirPods. I thought these would be a solution for that problem, and unfortunately, these are not the solution for the problem, and here's why. Two reasons why, actually. Um, number one, this big spot right here is supposed to sit in the in the gap of your ear as that goes in the canal. And if you are 11 years old, unfortunately, this is going to be too big to fit into the canal, the gap of your ear. And what it's going to be is they're going to be hanging out about a quarter of an inch from your head and eventually they're going to fall out. They're going to look funny. Your kids are not going to want to wear them because everybody's going to have AirPods. And he has these that are sticking about a half an inch to a quarter of an inch out from his head. He's not going to want to wear them. And you're going to have taken them back. That is exactly what happened to me. Um, point number two, though, if you are a parent, you don't want to trust your child to have something in ear because it will damage their hearing. They will play their bass music, heavy, um, high bass music, really loud, probably louder than they should. They don't understand that, hey, this is reflecting off my ear canal and it is causing damage to my hearing. If you guys know me, you know I am very sensitive to hearing because I am short, I'm, I'm, I don't wanna say losing my hearing, but I have hearing loss. 
And I have several other videos that talk about why I wear AirPods versus other type of earbuds because of that reason. So I will just be careful giving these to a 11, 12, 13, eight, nine, 10 year old child with something that goes in your ear that produces bass um, because you don't want them to be 20 and not be able to hear you. So um, that is my take on why these are not for kids. Everything else involving kids is fine. You know, if you got a 15 year old, they got adult size ears, these work fine. But you don't want to buy them AirPods. You want to start them off with these and see how they do. These work fine. They sound fine. Most kids aren't on the phone anyway. Um, so yeah, you can totally go out, grab your pair of these and you know what, try these, see how you do and we'll go from there. But if they're under the age of, I'd say 13, these are probably going to be too big for their ears. So that's not something that you're going to hear on most channels. That's something that you're going to hear on this channel because I have kids and I know a lot of you shop for your kids. And um, I just want to save you guys some time. So with that being said, though, I'm going to give these a thumbs up. Call quality is probably going to be an eight and a half. The bass is an eight and a half. The overall sound is probably a seven and three quarters. Uh, durability, they seem like they're well built. They have graphene drivers. You guys can go look that up yourself. I believe these are 13 millimeter graphene drivers, which is pretty big for your average earbud. And um, they're very solid, well built. They don't seem like they're gonna tear up if you step on them, if you drop them, something like that. Like I said, normally at this price point, the magnets, oh, there it is. The magnets are not strong enough to hold these in, you know, but I'm shaking that pretty hard and it's not coming out. So that's what I like about these also. And uh, they're USB-C, Bluetooth 5.0, IPX5 rating. That's not bad. So that is my take on the Anchor Soundcore Life Note earpods. Um, if you guys have some of these and you have something to add to it, just let me know in the comments section. As always, if you like what you heard, hit like, subscribe, and notify so you can be notified when I am posting another video such as this. And I'll see you in the next one.